Howdy y'all, welcome to Group 7's Legislature Project by Morgan Mays, Gwendolyn Cloud, Jack Wallace, and Kiana Namadi. The goal of this project was to identify a change that we would like to make to the United States Legislature so that it functions more like the Texas Legislature. The choice that our group decided to make was to switch Congress to a full-time, well-paid, and large staff legislature into a hybrid style. So the Texas Legislature meets for 140 days every other year, and... In 2014, the House was scheduled, the United States House was scheduled to only be in session for 133 days during the year, and this trend has continued um, until present times. With our change, they would only have to meet for 140 legislative days every other year, rather than meeting multiple times for brief periods throughout the year. This change would also greatly, greatly reduce Congress salaries and staff, as well as making their role a part-time position. So we chose to pass this constitutional amendment to make this change because it'll be both beneficial to representatives and the citizens of the United States. Representatives of Congress will have more time to live their daily lives and see firsthand what problems need to be addressed when meeting in sessions. And this change will cause congressmen and women to utilize their time more efficiently when they are meeting, which will lead to more effectiveness. So what effects on Congress do we think our change will have? The top two issues here are having a greater efficiency and also improving family time. With shorter restrictive and better sort of time used in these spans, Congress will be more likely to be more efficient, get better jobs and better laws passed, and be able to get things out on a much better time frame. With family time, Congress rarely ends up seeing a lot of their family throughout a lot of their time, as well as friends and other close members to them. This then can put a strain on mental health and can make it harder for congressmen and women to do their job more efficiently on itself. The Congressional Management Foundation, CMF, uh, did a study on this on personal life as well as personal time on congressmen and women, and the results were quite shocking. On this, on the left on figure eight, how members feel about how they spend their time. As you can see, personal time and time with family and friends is a very, very high number, 86% says too little time that congressmen and women feel like they get to spend with these people. Yet later on in more administrative work, well work with constituents, media work, all of these seem pretty balanced and overall feel like they do this on a very good scale. On figure six, it reiterates this point in the blue, showing what they spend their time doing in Washington DC and in the red, what they do in their own districts. And as you can see on the bottom, personal time is a negligible difference despite where they are. So even if they're with their family in their district, versus back in Washington DC working, it barely makes any difference. So this shows that no matter where they are, no matter what they do, the amount of work on congressmen and women is so much that they're barely able to interact with their family and friends. Changing something like this to a more Texas system where they end up spending fewer amounts of time inside the congressional meetings, this can then make it way easier for them to spend more time with friends and family and make this balance a lot more even out. So next, we want to look at what and unanticipated consequences might result from the change we make. The law of unintended consequences is by Adam Smith, and it says that people are led by an invisible hand to promote an end in which they have no part in their intention. So while we are focusing on how these short sessions are designed to promote efficiency, this also means that representatives are going to have to create allies so they know when they bring a bill to the floor, it will pass because they have the votes for it. Um, but another consequence that we're looking at is that with less time that is spent on legislative days, the government will save money that is usually used to keep the lights on in the chambers of Congress and allocate that tax money to another purpose. Additionally, we would see um, more tax money allocated to different purposes as a result of lowering congressmen and women's salaries when they switch from full to part time. Another unintended consequences that we noticed is that less professionalized legislatures are known for having a higher membership turnover rate, and many Americans are um, highly critical of the idea of career politicians, and this would possibly break the cycle of people yielding their power in Congress for decades. Finally, um, when there is a limited amount of days that Congress can meet, there is much more efficiency. As I mentioned previously, representatives will not encourage a bill unless they know it will pass, which is going to lead to less time being wasted on failed legislation and more bills being brought to the floor each day that Congress meets. 
So what can Congress learn from the different ways state legislators function? Building relationships with citizens is not only important for legislators, but also the citizens because it allows the main concerns of the community to be heard. Examples of ways members of Congress can meet with people in surrounding communities are holding town hall meetings and district meetings. Allowing the public to have a voice will enable them will enable the legislator to remain in good standing with the public and benefit candidates running for office to build up their reputations. These relationships will also prevent legisl legislators from being disconnected from their communities and realizing what they decide will also be affecting them, their own families, and even their neighbors. Finally, Congress can learn how to utilize their time out of session from part-time state legislators. For example, Congress can use interim, committee, interim committees, which are groups of people th that meet between sessions to discuss topics and legislators will later discuss in session. These groups can provide information and in insight on the topics to Congress before they meet to, facili to facilitate discussion during the shortened sessions. So looking at our class lectures, a lot of restrictions and powers and efficiency of shorter sessions are emphasized. With the restriction of powers, it's uh, these different changes can prevent the passing of dangerous laws, as well as excessive laws, getting too many of these things passed around, being able to basically streamline this process is really what we're trying to accomplish here. This efficiency of shorter session pretty much goes hand in hand with this, as we learned that doing both of these things throughout the Texas legislature can make it a much more effective and efficient government than what the United States government can do as a whole. In our class ratings about legislature, we learned that governing parties care, care a lot about reputation and productivity brand. Senators and House representatives especially want to get reelected, and each party wants to have a seat majority. There is an incentive in Congress becoming more productive with their agenda and passing bills since it will show voters that they aren't wasting time and care and will, and will representatives upkeep a good reputation. Focusing on our own research, we tried to maximize the work completed in these shorter sessions, again, focusing on efficiency, also focusing their work on the most pressing issues that are widely supported. This doing it as well as focusing back to the people. We need to know that the power of the people is the strongest thing here and what needs to be the focus of what many congressmen and women need to give back to their constituents. Um, so how do our answers in the previous slides relate to other class concepts and ideas? Uh, we learned that Congress works at a slower pace to avoid passing any laws that may turn into mistakes in the future and they have the ability to cede power to the president because the president can act quickly so to avoid this the shortened sessions will put congress in a position where they have to finish what they start and not place incomplete bills onto a higher authority which also just makes them more effective and makes sure that they get done what they are trying to do and finally here are our references and thank you guys for listening to our presentation.